Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about lighting in relation to my yard. Um, so Anna from Anna is Kicking asked me to um, do a lighting video uh, with talking about like the setup in my yard in relation to the cardinal directions. But this is super relevant because winter is coming and everybody has on their mind what they're gonna do with their orchids for the winter. And as you guys know, I have bought what can only be described as a shit ton of orchids in the past few months. And so I really need to come up with a good um, solution for what to do. In addition, the lighting in my yard and my setup changes a lot between summer and winter, um, mainly because I have these huge trees that um, shade my yard. So I'm gonna show you guys like the layout of my yard and where I keep my orchids now and what I've been thinking about for the winter. Okay, so this is the general layout of my yard. This is the house and this is the patio and the patio is where I record most of my YouTube videos. And over here is my yard, um, which doesn't look that great because we're in a drought right now. This back here is the neighbor that has the chickens. They also have a dog. This neighbor has a really annoying kid and this neighbor also has a dog. But more relevant in this corner of the yard are two really big trees um, that shade my yard for a good part of the day. This right here is the sliding door where I keep most of my collection. Um, this is the window above my kitchen sink where I keep some stuff. And then there's two windows um, on either side of the sliding door. So if we rotate the house so that north is up, this is what it looks like. Um, so you can see that the sliding door and patio have basically a west exposure, and my kitchen sink window is roughly a south exposure. So on the western side, I keep my cattleyas on the patio and in front of the sliding door. And I keep my Phalaenopsis in front of this window because it mostly stays shaded by the trees. Um, and then in, above the kitchen sink, I've been keeping my Oncidiums because the light is bright, but it never gets too bright during the summer. Okay, so if we start over here at my shelves, I actually um, kind of expanded them. I don't think I showed you guys that, but I added some shelves. So here's where I've been keeping... Um, my little seedlings, and then kind of medium seedlings, and my bigger cattleyas, um, and all my other seedlings. So the issue with the sliding door is that during the winter, it stays completely shaded all day long. So I can't keep my cattleyas here anymore. And here above my kitchen sink, I actually did have most of my oncidiums, but one thing that changes uh, between the seasons is that this southern exposure becomes really, really bright. Um, so I've actually already started moving some of my cattleyas that like a lot of light over here. So I have some Eclandii, it's an Eclandii cross, Leopoldii, another Eclandii. Um, this is Purpurata by Nodosa. I still have a few Oncidiums sitting here. Um, this is actually one I haven't shown you guys yet. I don't think I've shown any of these. Here, hold on talk about orchids real quick. Uh, this is a Clandii by, oh man, I can't think of what it is, but this is Brabantii, and it is awesome, and it smells so good, like really, really fragrant, really awesome. And then this one here is uh, BC Benosa, and this flower down here is taking its sweet, sweet time to open. This one's also fragrant. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is this side of my yard, which I never really show you guys. It's a giant dirt patch. Um, it used to be a yard. Oh, that tree there. That is my one of my citrus trees. But um, what's interesting about this side of the yard is that it doesn't get shaded by the trees. So I have a giant dirt patch that gets direct sunlight all winter long. And I don't know about you guys, but that brings one thing to mind. 